Okay, welcome everybody. This is Dr. Ashton, and you're listening to this because you registered for Foundations of Research Methods in Psychology, Psych 330. And this slideshow is like the uh, introductory lecture that a professor gives at the beginning of the semester, the first day of class. And during one of those lectures, one of the first things that a professor does is that he introduces himself to the class. I am Dr. Ashton. Uh, here's a picture of me from last fall at uh, the uh, New York City Comic Con with the Incredible Hulk. Okay, and a little bit about me. I have a PhD in social psychology. I got that uh, in 1991 from Miami University of Ohio. Uh, in graduate school, I did research on the fundamental attribution error, the stigma of mental illness, and gender and social support. Uh, in the past, I've taught uh, at several places, uh, Wright State University, Wittenberg University in Ohio, St. Olaf College in Minnesota. I've also done non-academic work. Uh, I was the executive director of a nonprofit organization that trained community leaders. I was also the associate director uh, in charge of community organization uh, at a community mental health center. I have been at York since uh, uh, 2003. I teach social psych methods, organizational behavior, and uh, industrial organizational psychology. Uh, I'm currently the coordinator of the research pool, and in the past I've been the director of the honors program. My current programmic research currently, currently uh, is on the attribution of blame and accidents. And uh, the title, usually the title of one of my studies is something to the effect of the intention of the transgressor on perceptions of damage to the victim. And another area of programmatic research that I'm doing is on fandoms, that is people who are fans of something. And I'm focusing on the uh, movie The Big Lebowski and its fandom. I'm looking at the achievers from a Jungian psychological perspective. And now let me introduce you to the topic of the course. This is a very intellectually challenging course, and it will be an intellectually challenging experience for you. Uh, research methods is a special course. This course uh, emphasizes process instead of content. The other courses that you've taken in the major, they uh, emphasize content. In personality, you learned ideas. In uh, social psychology, you learned ideas. Now you're going to be focusing on learning a process, learning how to do things, learning how to solve problems in psychology. And the whole point of this course is for you to learn how to systematically solve problems in psychology. And that's what research methods is about. This is going to be a difficult course. Uh, anywhere uh, you take it, uh, anyone teaching it, this will be a challenging course for you. Uh, and also here at York it's writing intensive, which is pretty common across the country. But also it's a very important course for you, because this is really the underlying foundation of all of psychology. How we go about developing new information, new research in psychology. Now let's talk about the process of the course. This is an online course, a 100% online course. Uh, we will never meet in person as a class this semester. So what uh, do you need to do an online course like this? First off, you need to have a computer, a fast computer, and a fast internet connection. Uh, how fast? Uh, if you could go to YouTube and watch videos without those uh, circle of dots coming up all the time, then your computer is probably fast enough. Uh, you need to have access to a computer. That's really important. Uh, ideally, uh, you should be able to check uh, Blackboard at least a couple times a day uh, so you can keep up with what's going on in online assignments. One reason for that is we often do collaborative learning uh, in online courses where you learn by interacting with your peers in the course. And, of course, the key word there is interaction. So you have to log in every so often to see what they're saying and respond to them. 
you need to have soft skills. Uh, in IO psychology, this is a, a term that people use to apply to the basic skills that you need to be able to do a job. Uh, you need to be able to organize your time. You need to be able to plan things. Uh, you need to be able to say, well, if I do need to log in twice a day, then I need to do this. And you need to be able to, to log in twice a day. And you need to have study skills. I'm not going to be there, and you're not going to be in class for three hours a week with me telling you what to do you know, Tuesday and what to do Thursday. So you're going to have to be able to structure your own learning experience. You're going to have to be able to read the textbook and understand it and take notes from it. You're going to have to be able to plan, well, if I have to take these quizzes, when do I actually do the quizzes? And uh, last but not least, you need a, a nice place to, you know, for your computer and for you to work. Uh, if the computer is next to the TV in the living room, uh, that's going to be a very distraction-filled place, and that would not be a really good place for you to uh, have a computer. So ideally, you can have a place where you can work on your computer uh, by yourself. These things are important. Uh, you, know, you need to remember that an online course may not be for you. And if it isn't, please remember that the third day of the semester is the last day to drop with a 100% refund. Uh, we have uh, two assigned textbooks for this course and one recommended textbook, uh, Writing in Style. Uh, edition 5 by uh, Lenore Sukman is one of the textbooks required for this course. And James Goodwin's Research in Psychology, the sixth edition, is another required textbook. These are both required, uh, Sukman and Goodwin. Uh, I recommend that you have the publication manual of the APA. However, uh, there's copies in the library. I think we have copies in the psych department for you to look at there. And there are ample online uh, you know, references for APA style. So uh, you know, that is optional. I recommend it, but it's not required. Uh, here's a little uh, bit more about me. Here's a picture of me and my wife. This is from a while ago. Uh, we were at uh, uh, the Smoky Mountain Park and we we're just ready to go on a hike. So let's talk about how you'll be graded in this course. Uh, the uh, homework assignments, the Sukman assignments, are each 15% of your final course grade. Uh, the Sukman exercises, if you have your copy of Sukman right now, uh, thumb through it, and you'll see that there are exercises with blanks every so often in the uh, a textbook. And we're going to be doing assignments based on those exercises. Some weeks we'll do exactly those exercises. Some weeks we'll do exercises kind of like those. Uh, Goodwin homework, uh, if you have your copy of Goodwin, take a look at it. The application exercises in the back of the chapters, uh, that's what uh, we're going to be doing uh, mainly. But then again, we'll do some other things. Uh, the city training is 5%. This is the training that researchers at CUNY, including myself, have to go through to be certified uh, you know, to understand the ethics of research, uh, to be certified to do research here at CUNY. And you're going to do the training. And this is really a minor thing. I shouldn't give you 5% for it. Uh, but hopefully, it'll help boost your grade for the course. Then we have our three major writing assignments. Uh, we have a three-article literature review, uh, and that's 10% of your grade. Uh, we have an introduction section of an APA-style paper that's due. That's 15%. And finally, the, since this is a methods course, we have a methods section due, and that's another 15%. Uh, so we have these three major writing assignments. And then uh, at the end of the course, uh, we have uh, one minor assignment uh, which is a group presentation on uh, multi-method uh, research methodologies. And then finally, throughout the semester, we'll have uh, online quizzes. These quizzes will be on Goodwin, and they will be 15% of your grade. So let's uh, talk a little bit more in detail about the assignments. Uh, the online quizzes. 
uh, the online quizzes. We're going to have quizzes over seven chapters in Goodwin. And uh, these quizzes will be based on a study guide. You have the study guide on Blackboard right now. Uh, so you can look over the questions that will be on these quizzes right now and prepare for the quizzes. And the quizzes you can take as many times as you want. That is, if you for chapter one, if you want to take it twice, you can take it twice. If you want to take it ten times, you can take it ten times. I will only record the highest grade. What happens for each quiz is every time you take it, the computer selects randomly ten questions from that study uh, guide. So uh, each time you take it, you'll have a different set of qu ten questions over the chapter, and I'm only going to record the highest grade. The reason why I've done this is that I genuinely want you to learn the material, and I believe that this is going to be the best method that will help you learn the material. And I want to help you do that. And so that's why we're doing the uh, quizzes this way. The Sukman exercises, uh, I'm going to, uh, these are in the text, uh, the Sukman textbook. And what you're going to be doing is doing these exercises either individually or in a group uh, because collaborative learning is important in an online course. And this is to allow you to learn how we write in psychology and learn APA style. Because as, you know, this is a writing intensive course, and three of the major components of the grade are writing assignments. And then also we have homework. Uh, this is going to be based on Goodwin's text. The homework will certainly, certainly help you understand what we're going to uh, be quizzing about. Uh, but the purpose of these uh, homework assignments is to, you know, challenge you intellectually, to get you to think about, uh, you know, the material, to get you to be able to solve these problems. And so uh, this is going to be a major part of your grade. And, you know, it's important that you do these assignments so that you can be challenged and begin to learn to go through the process of using you know, systematic reasoning when solving problems in psychology. Okay, and now we have the three article literature review, the introduction section, and the method section. These three major writing assignments are going to be part of a single project. That is, they're going to be linked to each other because what I want you to do uh, in all three is work on a single research proposal. A research proposal is just that, where you propose research in psychology, propose to do a new research study in psychology. And these three projects will help you develop uh, your reasoning and the arguments behind the ideas you want to uh, uh, you know, put forward. So the three article literature review, this is a five page mini literature review. Uh, the introduction section uh, now is going to be a you know, more formal and more complete introduction to a, a research paper where you present a hypothesis. And the method section is going to be a method section uh, where you present the methodology that you want to use. And all of the work that we're doing in Sukman is going to prepare you to write the introduction section and write the method section. Uh, and then we have, at the end of the course, the multi-method presentation. Uh, this is a group project. You're going to do it in a group of about three. And uh, you'll, what you want to do is identify a published study, either a correlational study, quasi-experimental study, or small n uh, study, observational study, or uh, survey research study. And then describe the same hypothesis tested using another method from that list above. Uh, you're going to uh, do this as a group and present it to the rest of the class on a Blackboard Wiki. And there should be at least 20 pages, and I don't mean like 20 typed pages. Uh, each page is going to be similar to a slide presentation, so there's only going to be a few words on each uh, page. Uh, but I expect that in the end you'll have 750 words of original texts. Uh, that's about three double space type pages, so it's not a major thing. And that's at the end of the course. And then the city training, uh, as I said before, this allows you to be certified uh, to uh, you know, run subjects ethically here at CUNY. Okay, the writing intensive component of this course 
as I've said before, are the three major writing assignments, and also the Sukman exercises help you with those writing assignments. Also, uh, as the course ends, during the last three or four weeks of the course, the work drops off, and uh, what I want you to be able to do during that is have the option of redrafting for a revised grade. So for the three major writing assignments, the, the three article literature review, the introduction section, and the method section, you can redraft them for a revised grades. Uh, and you, uh, here's how you do that. First, you need to read and respond to my comments. Uh, your revised grade is going to be based on how well you understand my comments and extend these comments to the rest of your paper. Uh, you need to find a peer. Uh, have a peer that is somebody from your class review your paper uh, and then respond to your comments. And then you need to submit a package with your original paper with my comments, your peer's review, your redraft, and then finally a short uh, description of what you've learned in the redrafting process and the changes you've made. And all this will be considered when I revise your grade. So the plan of the course, uh, weekly we'll be doing a Sukman assignment uh, and we'll have a homework assignment. Also in there I would be expecting that you take the quizzes. Uh, it would probably be best for you if you took the quizzes uh, concurrently with the chapters that we're working on uh, in the homework assignments and working on in class. And so that's what we'll be doing weekly. The Sukman assignments, the homework assignments, and also you should be doing the quizzes. The writing assignments are due in week 4, 7, and 11. And then as I said, the end of the semester we have these two uh, minor assignments. The uh, you know, other methods presentation and the city training and that's to give you time to redraft uh, your uh, major writing assignments if you choose to do so. And here's my dog, Floss. We took this picture just this last fall, uh, a few days before the hurricane hit. Uh, the, really one of the last really nice you know, weather trips to the park. And if you have any questions, uh, the best is to go to the discussion board and the Start Here office hours, or actually just the office hours. Uh, you know, I always suggest that if you have general questions about the course, ask them on the discussion board for office hours. And first check to see if somebody else has uh, asked them and uh, I've answered them. Uh, and also you can email me. Uh, I you know, encourage you to email me if you have uh, specific questions about your grade uh, or uh, confidential questions about yourself or your standing in the course. But for general questions about what's going on in the course, it's best if you go to the office hours. Uh, and also, if you look in the syllabus, uh, you'll see how you can uh, come to my office hours, my actual real in-person office hours, if you'd like. Okay, I'll see you on Blackboard. Bye-bye. Turn this off.